Andre, does your does your mindset adjust, change at all when you know a KD is going to be out or a Draymond is going to be out? I mean, do, does that enter into your mind as you take the court? Uh, before tonight, I used to think so. Uh, this is a weird. This is a weird week. It's been a weird schedule. You know, we're going back on the road, so I honestly didn't know where I was today before the game. I got here like 60 on the clock. This is like the latest I've ever been to a game. I didn't even shoot. So uh, I think it's all feel. I, I guess I say that to say this. It's just all feel. You figure it out. You feel what the team needs. You go out there and do it. And uh, I've been playing basketball for a very, very long time. Andre, you obviously have a lot of experience, but what do you think was the key as a unit to, for you guys to be able to overcome Durant's absence and, and Steph not shooting what he normally does? Uh, I think we, our second unit um, tries to provide a spark. I think we did that tonight. And I think we figured some things out um, with their second unit and not letting them uh, get to their guys who make shots off the bench. You know, Jameer Nelson has been playing really well for them off the bench. Uh, so we, we were trying to limit their uh, three-point attempts and three-point makes as well um, after that first quarter. You know, Drew Holiday was really hot. Uh, I think he had about 18 points, was it? 17 in the first quarter. So he got a roll in, and um, each one more made two threes in the first quarter as well. So try to get them off the line, try to make a, make them make, uh, you know, second and third decisions uh, after running them off the line. And once we made them miss, turning the transition baskets and, getting our flow, and, and once we got our flow, we got a little spark. And uh, Clay was really big for us in the first half, and uh, keeping things close and making sure we didn't go into the half with a deficit. We know you're, uh, at least one of your knees, maybe both have been nagging at you a little bit, but you're on the injury list as probable, but you ended up playing. Is there something that tilts you over the edge in terms of being able to play, or is it just pain tolerance? Or what, how do you make that decision? Uh, KD wasn't playing. Uh, I can pretty much play, like, I can play. It's easy to play, even with pain. I can mean I can walk through the game. Uh, like I said, I've been playing for so long. You know, I know what the team needs, and uh, I feel fine actually playing. You know, I had a burst in the second half where I got to the basket like I did in my younger years and got fouled on a break. Normally, I would pull it back out. So it's just um, team being smart and, and cautious with the load. Uh, being that schedule's been kind of hectic, and it continues uh, this following week. Andre, the, the discipline that you have with your regiment in terms of your routine and how Steve's managed you know, certain games to rest you, where do you think that goes into play in a game like tonight where you're asked to you know, assume a heavier workload in terms of minutes and just overall production? I mean, once, once you step out there, you're playing basketball. And uh, I shouldn't say pride. You just enjoy, I just enjoy the game. You're just playing the game, and you, you want to be a force when you're out there. Uh, you don't want to have empty minutes. I played 30 minutes tonight. Uh, you don't want to have empty minutes, so you want to go out there and uh, give your team a push. And um, once I got a good flow, I think Steve was just like, just keep playing. And I think he kind of has a good gauge of where I'm at, and uh, I can talk to him anytime. We're pretty much on the same same page without having to, you know, communicate verbally. So pretty good uh, relationship there. You know, it wasn't that long ago where people kind of wondered where Kavan would be able to fit in with this team. And now you watch him out there, and he's contributing, he's doing stuff. I know you work with him quite a bit. Just what are you seeing from him? I think with Kavan, he's, just, he's getting more and more confidence uh, out there with us. He's not afraid to miss a shot, which is really important for a young guy's confidence with, uh, you know, you got your core guys who get the bulk of the shots. And everyone else, you, you never know if it's going to be a one-shot night or a five-shot night or a ten-shot night. So you're kind of, you know, you're hesitating to pull the trigger, and then that leads to you not trying to make mistakes. And you can't play uh, trying not to make mistakes. You just got to go out there and play freely, make the basketball play. And uh, what I've gotten him to learn is to be really solid. You know, just be solid. If you're solid, you won't make mistakes. And if you make mistakes being solid, you'll have the right intentions. And just the karma of the game will always come your way. And uh, he has a really good feel for the game. Uh, there's a lot of things that he can do that we still don't – or certain, like the crowd doesn't see yet. Like the NBA doesn't know what he can do, and he's going to slowly uh, develop that with his confidence. But uh, he's a good young player.